comes Jeff. What up, Jeffrey? Hey, how's it going? All right. <laughs> so, Jeff, what you doing tomorrow? Uh, driving down to Cobb to get the tune done. My nigga. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, got something for you. So that you can record it for everybody watching the channel. Oh, yeah, there we go. There's the GoPro. You can see. Take that with me. Unfortunately, I got to work and I can't join Jeff on his <laughs> dyno day. So he's going to record it for you guys so that you guys can see his car make almost 400 horsepower. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I'm just joking, man. I'm tired of shit, man. I don't know yeah. what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> but cool. Um, so, yeah. So, there's that's the beginning of this video that you're watching right now that I'm going to put in. And, yeah. Six and a half hours later. All right, we're at, uh, we're at Cop Surge Line here. Car's finally on the dyno. It is about 4 p.m. About 78 degrees outside. So, uh, he just got done here. Just run through the gears a little bit. He hasn't done any pulls yet. So we'll, uh, you can at least hear the, uh, the Tomei exhaust here in a minute. He might wind it up. We just did a 15 PSI pull. I don't know what he's gonna do now. Probably another 15 to red line. Later. Okay, so now that it took us uh, almost two hours, hour and a half to get out of Oregon, it's only, I think it's like 20 miles, um, even through traffic and the five miles of freeway driving I've done now, it uh, the car feels definitely much more responsive and a lot smoother power coming on. Um, the Dyno numbers are not impressive when you compare my last uh, dyno tune to this this current one, but that is mainly because the uh, the turbo just can't move that much air. It's a small turbo, it, and also today was between anywhere between 84 and almost 90 degrees in the dyno room, and my last tune was at 40 degrees or below. That accounts for a lot of the differences, but the car is definitely much faster. It's very noticeable, especially in the higher RPMs. Uh, the, the horsepower stays there all the way to red line. It doesn't drop off like with a stock top mount. Uh, but the drivability is actually hugely noticeable. It's the biggest difference I can notice right away is the smoothness of the power compared to before. And I, I had Chris tune it very very conservatively and it, it runs awesome now I mean it's it been stop and go traffic the whole time I mean not even a hiccup and it, it runs 
Sounds good. Thank <laughs> you.